you saw there at the end was us trying to do a pressure test, get our uh, nitrogen in the system, to pressure up the chiller, to do everything. We, we'd finished all the repairs that we had uh, we had planned for. You know, hopefully, if we go through it, we'll be able to determine if there are any additional leaks. Anyway, the problem was uh, we we. Uh, they ended up accidentally rupturing the rupture disc, trying to pull the oil out. Uh, whenever they broke the vacuum, they pressured it up. Um, you know, and it, it is my fault. So my my team I had there, I didn't uh, I didn't work with them ahead of time on those rupture discs. And so whenever they were just breaking the vacuum and then trying to push the oil out of the sump so we could work on the uh, regulator, they uh, accidentally just over pressured and they didn't know it until we got there I got there today and um, we were trying to do the, the pressure test and I was wondering why it wasn't taking pressure I was putting a decent amount of nitrogen in I expected to have something start happening sure enough I ended up walking outside and you can hear all the uh, all the nitrogen just venting on the refrigerant uh, relief line to the outdoors and so it's uh you know it's, it's just a mistake that happens you know honestly i've done it a couple of times you know it, we, we all end up doing it at some point in our career you know and i take responsibility for that with my team you know they i did not make sure that they were paying attention to that ahead of time you know and so they just yeah, it just happens. Um, yeah, it's, it's not the cheapest thing to take care of. Uh, that particular one is uh, it's a two-inch um, uh, rupture disc. And what it is, it has a thin little piece of metal in there that once it gets too much pressure applied to it, it literally ruptures. It, it, it splits. And so, anyway, um, they... Uh, it's five hundred dollars for that disc. Uh, so, but it's the the this one we're using is cheaper than ones I've had to buy in the past. I've had some in the past, like that I've gotten through York, and they were eight or nine hundred dollars uh, for that ruptured disc. Uh, we had another job shoot almost a year ago. Uh, different techs, but they were on site and just were working on something else. weren't paying enough attention. They end up blowing the disc. And uh, that was, you know, $900 later. We got that one back online. So, yeah, anyway, just part of the chiller world. You know, like I said, 15 PSI is the rupture point because that's a low pressure machine. Okay, you got to keep that in mind. Um, that thing stays in a vacuum standing. And so, uh, you've got to get the. Con the saturation for zero psi is like 85 degrees so if you got 85 degree entering condenser water uh, then uh, or I guess leaving condenser water you can have uh, you know about zero psi on the condenser uh, but your evap is almost always down at about I think it's negative or 6.8 or just six something inches of vacuum and mercury or yeah inches of vacuum so that's how that's how those are measured and, and kept track of anyway now some machines do use uh psi negative psi um and i was sitting and thinking about it i think that one might too um uh, actually i think it does it reads negative psi not inches of vacuum uh, Anyway, anyway, some do, some don't, some read this, some read that, it is, it is not relevant. Point is, got the, uh, got it on order, coming in, we're going to get it taken care of. Uh, we'll, what we're going to do is I'm going to pause that uh, for the, the part was coming in tomorrow. So I'm going to put a pause on that job for this week. We'll return next week to do the, uh, the the pressure test and then start the vacuum and I don't want to have the crew trying to feel like they're rushed or and I'm not going to leave the vacuum to run over the weekend. We don't have a bid for OT. So anyway, that's that guys. I'll see y'all later.